Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Katrina Sack. Um, for those who are new, welcome. So today I'm going to do like a really different video, but it's just going to kind of like describe what I wish I would have known prior owning a firm. Hold on one second. I have my little girl. Um, so like just like necessities that you need and essentials that help out around the farm. And as you guys can see behind me, we'll start with this one, a round pen. A round pen is very, it's, I mean, it's used a lot around here. Um, and my painting, I don't know why I went with this color scheme, but we're obviously, if you guys can see, going to change the farm benzene all black, which is gonna like spice it up a little bit and make it look a lot nicer. But a round pen, a thousand percent. And then over there is a ring, a riding ring. We have a really big, decent sized riding ring. And then if you guys follow me this way, I'm gonna show you what is huge and definitely a necessity that you need for owning a farm and a lot of people don't think that you need it but you really do so come this way as you guys can see this lovely drag it's massive because they come in smaller sizes and bigger sizes but what i use to drag this um i use a 750 cc viking by yamaha um anything else that's lower in cc's cannot pull it so if my viking is down i use my big truck but like I said, they come in smaller sizes and you guys can, you have to drag your arena all the time for a good footing and pastures as well. It spreads out the manure and it really helps out. Um, instead, I mean, you can do it by hand, but who the heck wants to do that by hand when you have two muck stalls? So the drag is very handy and much needed. I would definitely recommend it. So this, well, what am I on to? The third thing that you guys should need is a cover for hay um, and your horses and pastures just because like right now it's rainy out as you, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's pretty junky weather, but this um, keeps the hay dry and the horses can come underneath it when it is raining just to get shelter. Trees are cool and everything, but I mean, come on, who wants to stand out in the rain? And like I said, it keeps the hay dry. These are a thousand pound compacted alfalfa blocks and sitting out in the rain, they can. I have some pastures that don't have shelters, but we have a little sneak through. That's our little adopted buddy that was fostered here. And he is now being adopted to Angelica, which is super cool. And he's kind of learning the farm ropes, but back to this. Yes, I would highly recommend getting shelters for pastures and for hay, anything to cover your hay just so it lasts longer and it doesn't get moldy. But let's go on to the next item. Another recommendation is to get, I don't even know what they're called, but I, they're just like almost like, I call them thumbtacks and everyone's like, no, they're not thumbtacks. I don't know the right name but something to tack on your fence chain so it doesn't drop because you know for the longest time i would drop the chain just like right now in the rain and i'd be looking for it and like so just something to tack on the chains to the fence so it's easier and you don't have to look for it and you know what else would be nice is an umbrella because this weather sucks right now but let's go and we'll get the next one inside the barn so i know this is a very expensive pricey thing to have on a farm but if you're able to, I would highly recommend like a she shed, a tiny house or something to have to where if your horse ever gets sick, knock on wood, because if your horse ever gets sick or colics, you wanna be here and be able to stay the night with your horse. But we have this cute little shed and tiny house, whatever you wanna call it, like I said. It's nice to have this here because then it's AC, it's insulated, you could stay here and then hang out here at nighttime. It's just, it's very convenient to have. Like I said, I know it's pricey, it's not, 100% a necessity, but it's definitely something I would highly recommend if you're able to get it or do something. I mean, you know, tents are fine and everything, but I don't really like camping, so I prefer the AC. But this is definitely something I would highly recommend. I know y'all are about to see my shoes. They're not the best farm shoes, but uh, I didn't expect it to rain today. You know, we're in Florida, so the weather's unpredictable. But look at this guy. This guy is so convenient because unfortunately our farm is really, not unfortunate, it's actually amazing, but our barn is very high, the ceilings, and it gets the spider webs out. One of the orders highly recommended this, Henry's being a little rude, but this is definitely good for spider cleaning. I hate it, I hate spiders, yep, gross. And hang tight there when I put this up, because I'm gonna show you another essential that I would highly, hey buddy, hi baby, are you hungry? It's almost another time. This. This is by far the best thing ever. It blows everything out of the barn aisles. Um, and the blower is definitely, 
like I tell people, I'm like, invest in a blower because you know what? You don't want a junky one. Get a pricey one because you know why? They last forever. Really good brand, really convenient, and highly recommend this. So Henry thinks he's getting fed, but he's not. Um, when, this is the reason why, because this is what we feed him with. He's got a feed bag. He is such a messy feeder. He falls out his grain the second you drop it in a bucket, wastes the grain, flies come. So for any horse that is a messy eater in a stall, or when you drop their grain, feed bags. Highly recommend these. Sorry, bud, not yet. You got like two more hours to be able to have dinner. But yes, and always buy masks. Come on, we can never have enough of these. Extras are always good. Another half that's definitely highly recommended are fans. So we have two big aisle fans in the barn that go back and forth. And then the bigger stalls, we have two fans that accommodate each one of those on each side. And then one fan for the smaller stalls, just because it keeps supplies away and like, when it's hot for the horses, you know, they don't want to stay in the box up. So it's wood, it's hot. But uh, rubber mats for the aisle, for the horses to stand on. Obviously tack drums for your tack. These baskets right here are very convenient as well. We used to have them, but this is kind of like the drunk basket now, so like, it's kind of eyesore, but baskets are very handy to hang on stalls. And obviously cute quotes. If you guys can see from the barn, I'm like obsessed with them, I love them. A hay room, a little like, hangout room over there. First up, a cooler, definitely a fridge to keep drinks cold. Henry is so grumpy right now, he's hangry. But you're okay. I think he just wants attention too. He's fine with that. Walking through the rain right now just to get over to here. Um, side by sides, like I said, this is a Viking, but I use my drag. Um, we have two of them here at the farm because God forbid if one doesn't work and then one pulls stronger than the other one. So this one's a little more durable and stronger and then this one isn't. Pitchforks and all the tools and handy stuff and definitely a dolly. I don't even know how I can think this. Dolly is a very huge thing because hay bales can be really heavy, around 100 pounds at times, but they're very helpful. Uh, let's go this way and I'll show you more things. We have the two front feed rooms. I always highly recommend a lot of feed, well, not a lot, but two separate feed rooms if you have a lot of horses here. And on the farm, we have around 15 horses. So it's just like all the horses are on the same diet and it can get a little packed and crowded. And feed rooms, if you have too many feed bins. So definitely would recommend two smaller feed rooms. You guys can check this one out in here. So this is the back feed room. It's called the Borders feed room. There's just two feed bins in here. It's a little messy right now, but if you know the farm schedule, it wouldn't look that bad. <laughs> and you'd understand it. But let's go this way for a couple more secrets and the things that we need in the farm. So I highly recommend two wheelbarrows, only because, oh my gosh, I realized how wet the is getting. <laughs> two wheelbarrows only because if one breaks, you have a second one, the other wheelbarrow's on the other side. A little fire pit area, a little cute hangout area, and definitely a bathroom. A lot of people think, oh, you have a barn, you have a bathroom. Uh, yeah, you definitely need one. We didn't have one for a long time, but um, we got one. Like years ago so like for about a year we didn't have one that's about all the farm essentials we need let's come over here so it's not so rainy on benelli and the puppies but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did thumbs up subscribe and don't forget to turn on that post notification bell so every time i upload a video you guys are notified